Assalamu alaikum and welcome back once again to Today in African History with Baba Shaka. I'm Baba Shaka and today is March 24th, 2021. It is the 24th day of Women's History Month and I must admit that researching the lives and achievements of these incredible women have greatly increased my knowledge. It could be argued that I have been the biggest beneficiary of these daily lessons. So I invite each and every one of you to look at all of the videos presented during this Women's History Month so that we can all be on the same page. Okay, so let's get going. Today, let's take a look at the first African to be appointed to the judicial bench in Quebec, Canada. The daughter of Guyanese immigrants, Justice Westmoreland Troy was born in Verdun, Montreal on the 10th of March, 1942. She was admitted to the bar in Quebec in 1967, and she began practicing law in 1970 with the law firm Megalo Malasson and later opened up her own practice in 1976. In 1999, she became the first black Canadian to be appointed to the bench in Quebec for the District of Montreal. Just as Westmoreland Troyer's childhood was marked by hardship, but also by family support and love, an only child, she lost her mother at a young age. She attended six different elementary schools, Moves brought about by the employment barriers her father faced, but which also brought her closer to her extended family. The importance of education was instilled in her by her grandmother and other family members. Justice Westmoreland Chouare also credits two teachers for her personal and professional growth. Bernard Megler, one of the first lawyers to champion the rights of political refugees, taught her about the practice of law and Violet Grant, her music teacher, who taught her about her African heritage and ways to reconnect with the richness of African history. Justice Westmoreland Chouare received her bachelor's of arts degree in 1963 from the Marianapolis College in Quebec. In 1966, she graduated with a law degree from the Université de Montreal, the only black student in her class. She also holds a doctorate of state and public law and administrative legal sciences from the Université du Paris du or du Paris II. <laughs> now, there are going to be some some French names that I may butcher, most likely. So I ask you to be patient with me. And for those of you who are French speaking, I ask for your forgiveness in advance. So there we go. Now, specializing in immigration and citizenship law, human rights law, family law, and nonprofit organizational law. Justice Westmoreland Chouare was legal counsel in 1982 at the Black Women's Congress of Canada, the Black Community Center, and the Quebec Association of International Cooperation Agencies. She was also a part-time commissioner of the Canadian Human Rights Commission in 1982, and then in 1990 became an arbitrator with the commission. She has held various other public sector positions, always with a social justice focus. She was the first black female law professor at the Université de Montreal in 1976 and at the Université du, du Québec at Montreal from 1976 to 1991. In 1979, she assisted with the report on the black community expectations on the public education system for the Quebec Superior Council of Education. From 1979 to 1983, she was a member of the Office de Protection des Consommateurs du Quebec, basically the Consumer Protection Agency. Right? In 1983, Justice Westmoreland Troyer was a commentator on the Implementation Committee's annual report, and in 1984 was a member of the Advisory Committee of the Ordre du National du Quebec. From 1985 to 1990, she became the inaugural chair of Quebec's Council des Comités Culturels et de l'Emigration. I know I butchered it, but it basically means the Community of Culture and Immigration, an organization whose establishment she played an integral role in. From 1991 to 1995, she became the first Employment Equity Commissioner in Ontario. In 1995, she served as a United Nations advisor to the Commission of Truth and Justice in Haiti. She also has an exceptional record of community service as a board member for the League of Human Rights, the Canadian Civil Liberties Association Council, and the executive 
of the Canadian Rights Foundation. In 1996, Justice Westmoreland Shorey became the first black dean of a law school in Canada. And during her three-year tenure as dean of the University of Windsor's Faculty of Law, she was admitted to the Ontario Bar Association in 1997 and appointed to the Criminal and Penal Division and the Youth Division of the Court of Quebec in 1999. This marked the first judicial appointment of a black Canadian in Quebec's history. Justice Westmoreland Trouré was a strong advocate for equality and diversity of the judiciary. She was a board member of the Canadian chapter of the International Association of Women Judges from 2003 to 2009 and a co-chair of the Equality and Diversity Committee of the Canadian Association of Provincial Court Judges from 2004 to 2010. Now, reflecting on her trailblazing achievements, Justice Westmoreland Troy told Pride News in 2015, quote, I was not always conscious or focusing on the fact that I might be the first. That's the reality of the situation. Yes, it was a position or a challenge that I was looking for, and I organized myself to succeed, unquote. She has been widely recognized for her successes as an academic, lawyer, and judge. In 1991, she was appointed officer of the National Order of Quebec in recognition of her significant contributions to the Quebec society. In 2000, she received the Allen Rose Prize for Human Rights from the Quebec Regional Committee of the Canadian Jewish Congress. In 2001, she received an honorary doctorate for work in human rights and for victims of discrimination from the Université du Québec à Montreal. In 2003, she was given the Jackie Robinson Achievement Award by the Montreal Association of Black Business Persons and Professionals. For her commitment to end the discrimination in Canada, she was presented with the Touchstone Award from the Canadian Bar Association in 2005 and the Quebec Human Rights Commission's Rights and Liberties Prize in 2008. After serving 13 years on the bench in Quebec, Justice Westmoreland Troy retired in 2012. But even in retirement, she remained actively involved in the field of law serving as a supernumerary, which means part-time, judge until 2017. She also continues to speak about human rights and the impacts of the Charter of Rights and Freedoms regarding justice issues. On the 26th of June, 2017, Justice Westmoreland Chore received an honorary Doctor of Law degree from the Law Society of Upper Canada. This was in recognition not only of her social justice commitments while an academic lawyer and judge, but also of her personal journey into the field at the time when it was almost exclusively male and exclusively white. In 2013, the Université de Quebec and Montreal's Department de Science Juridiques, which means the science of juridical, uh, the Department of Juridical Science, created the Juanita Westmoreland Troy Scholarship. This is an annual award of $3,000 to an undergraduate law student who promotes human rights, social justice, and equality issues. Justice Juanita Westmoreland Troy, bringing the heat to the cold north. <laughs> a thousand thank yous to those of you who have given us your support by becoming subscribers, but we need those of you who have not yet subscribed to do so by tapping that subscribe button. We need your support in order to continue bringing you these daily lessons. As you know, our goal is to upload a video each day for the rest of the year. So, we are counting on your support, and I thank you in advance. So, until tomorrow, inshallah, this is Baba Shaka with Today in African History. Masalam.